all pressure gauges have the same operating principle whether it's this stick design like this where a length of stick extends from it or whether it's a dial face where you have a needle moving on it whether it's analog like this or digital with a digital LCD on it they all have the same operating principle pressure cannot be measured it's not a fundamental unit or not a fundamental quality and it doesn't have a fundamental unit for its measurement it's a derived quality and a derived unit of measurement uh, is assigned for it it cannot directly be measured it can only be calculated uh, what I wrote here on the paper is that the force needs to exert uh, sorry the, the, the force exerted in uh, this one measures pressures in gases so the force of, uh, on the gas exerts a pressure and this pressure moves either a diaphragm or a spring inside a pressure gauge or, or a bourdon tube or, or s some kind of mechanical device is actually being forcefully moved and displaced and the amount of displacement or motion will be directly proportionate to the amount of input to the amount of pressure or force represented in the pressure and this displacement will show up as a change of length whether it's change of length on this white bar that's extending from this one or a change of length on a dial face where a needle moves the arc length which the needle moves is a length it, it, I understand it goes through some gears and some mechanisms but nevertheless it is a length okay so they all have the same principle I'm gonna gut this one out and uh, we'll take a look at it how this idea is represented in this one this is a tire gauge so it it's made to work with the automotive styles Schrader valve and uh, this one starts with that's why its size and dimensions look like this this rubber seal needs to be picked first if I can pick it fast enough with this pin okay yeah this seal needs to be intact and not chipped cracked or broken because then pressure is lost without entering the instrument the instrument then has a hole I'm going to try to put the needle in it there okay that little black spot that you see on the screen in the middle of this casting is the hole where pressure needs to enter or air this one is for measuring pressure in air if I bring it close to the camera with my flashlight there you can have there a little better look at it there that's a tiny bit of a hole and the white circle in the middle of the bigger circle the white tiny circle is just a metal uh, stud extending out in the middle of the casting so this piece this piece there it just stays there and decompresses the corresponding part in the Schrader valve now this one comes apart now that I butchered it and broke it and the air that enters on that side comes out on this side I'm gonna need my flashlight again in just a sec you can see that barely let's see if I can focus this camera in a sec well not easily but but there you can see at the middle of the casting there's a tiny little hole through which the air rushes through probably the easiest thing is you can just blow through it just like so you can just blow through it and you can feel the air so then this air that enters here and comes through there is forced against this rubber seal there this rubber seal fills this aluminum tube which is now empty there's nothing in it there's just a little plastic uh, guide ring with a 
Yeah, that, that doesn't come out easier with a with any easy. Well, let's see if I can push it out with this one. Yeah, not really. But anyhow, that little guide plastic ring is uh, there to keep this one straight. The spring is an important part of this uh, pressure gauge. So is the seal that this rubber ring there this rubber ring there at the top has to make with the with the aluminum tube or aluminum housing okay so there has to be a seal there because if air gets out between the seal and the and the housing then pressure is lost it's not measuring so therefore this one is basically a piston which pressure forces forward just like so against the spring the spring is contained in that blue housing and so that's how you can measure pressure there we have a pressure of one bar there are two bars there on this one or on this side there 10 psi 20 psi there 30 psi that's what's happening inside this tube as air rushes in through this casting it moves this piston forward against the spring so that's how pressure is converted or yeah converted to length and the change of length you can take a direct reading on it